Recognizing Nanaimo, North Cowichan. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It gives me a uh, pleasure to stand up and support this motion, which would seek to uh, um, bring light to the con conversion therapies that are be being enforced or um, imposed on young people uh, around the world, but even here in British Columbia. And I, you know, it was only a, a two weeks ago that I gave a statement in this house in the words of a young man, a young transgendered man named Elijah Boyle, um, and spoke about the importance of understanding and, uh, and the danger of complacency. And now, you know, we heard a statement earlier today about the uh, rise of the alt-right movement and uh, all that goes along with that. It all comes from the same bag of rotten potatoes, M Madam Speaker, racism, xenophobia, um, misogyny, homophobia. It all comes from the same batch, and it's, it's important that we as elected people offer our support to any vulnerable citizens, regardless of why they have become vulnerable. So it would be irresponsible for any of us to do any other than that. And young Eli was devastated when the Prime Minister uh, passed on supporting a ban on, um, on conversion therapies. Young Eli supported him supported the Prime Minister because he believed that he would stand up for transgendered people. And not only was he crushed by that act, but I saw the development of a kind of a cynicism inside him and his girlfriend, or maybe a confirmation of cynicism that they had been resisting, that nothing could change. And that's really unfortunate, Madam Speaker, to, for all of us. But I want to speak to people who are living in the closet and who are afraid to come out. They're afraid because of their personal safety, a shunning that they might experience from the people who they love, a loss of relationships and a loss of respect from people that they, they respect. And I understand it. Many people suffer. We can all have an effect here with the words that we use. We will have an effect here with the words we use, whether we want to or not but I think we should want to, and we should direct that effect to supporting vulnerable people everywhere. This motion affirms that we all care about the wellness of every child and youth in this province, that we will protect them. It states clearly the values of this province, the values of the people on this side of the house, and fortunately and very um, beneficially, the, I believe the values of all members Madam Speaker, the member from uh, Vancouver West End three times tried to introduce a bill that would protect transgendered rights by introducing them into the um, BC uh, Human Rights Code, and three times that failed. Finally, the previous government did act to do that, and it's very unfortunate that one member did vote against that and not support it. And I understand that a person's beliefs might prevent them from actively inside themselves supporting this, but we have a double duty of responsibility here, elected to protect people and make their lives better. And we cannot contribute fuel to a fire that's burning in our society right now, referred to by the previous statement on the rise of the alt-right movement. So it is important. All the words we use, particularly here, are important. So we live in a time when fear and hate are being manipulated by some in political positions of power, fear and hate as we approach climate insecurity and many other challenges as a species. And it's in times of fear that times become fearsome for those who are vulnerable. Words matter. Eli said, and these are his words, quiet complacency with homophobic and transphobic ideologies is far more harmful than those who spout hate from a place of ignorance. Trans people who are not accepted by those around them are 44% more likely to attempt suicide, while that per percentage drops to 4% when they are acknowledged and accepted. Just acknowledging trans people is val as valid is suicide prevention. Those were his words, and I absolutely agree with him. So we can't be complacent. We have a responsibility to act and to act in good faith and a responsibility to call out those who would manipulate this hatred that was growing. Numbers and words matter. Ask any marketing specialist. Eli knows this. Me, I consider this to be essentially a guide 
to living in the closet. This is how you'll suppress yourself. And it is terrible. Thank you, member. Thank you.